What is a share? Shares are like little pieces of a company that people can buy or sell. When you own shares, you own a small part of that company. Businesses make shares so they can get money from investors. This money helps the company grow and do better. How do shares work? Shareholders are like investors who buy pieces of a company, making them part owners. These pieces, or shares, are usually ordinary or common shares. With these, shareholders can vote in company elections, decide on new shares, and sometimes get dividends, which are payouts. The company keeps a list, called the shareholder register, of everyone who owns its shares. People invest in shares for two main reasons. To make money as the share prices go up, capital growth, and to receive income through dividends. The price of shares goes up and down based on how well the company is doing, general economic news and how investors feel about the company or the economy as a whole. If share prices change a lot in a short time, it's called volatility. If one company's shares are volatile, it might mean investors are worried about that company. If volatility affects all share prices, it can show instability in the overall markets. You should know the following terms. Term number one is listed. Listed is a share that is officially listed on a stock exchange where it can be bought or sold. Term number two is quote, quote, is the most recent price at which a share was traded. Term number three is stocks. Stocks is a general term describing ownership of shares. So, how do companies issue shares? Companies release shares when they require funds for investments or to cover expenses. When an investor purchases a share, they transform into a shareholder, holding a small portion of ownership in the company. When a company wants to grow its operations, it can decide to sell shares to the public. This process is called flotation, and it typically involves making these shares available for purchase on the stock market. For example, if the company decides to sell its shares at $10 each, these shares are offered to the public through an initial public offering or IPO at the agreed price of $1.10 per share. Individual investors get their shares at the initial issue price, which is $10 in this case. After receiving these shares, investors can then choose to buy or sell them on the stock exchange. Following the distribution of shares through the initial public offering, or IPO, the company puts these shares up for trading on the stock exchange. The prices of these shares can be influenced by how well the market is performing. After six months, the value of the shares increases by 10%. If shareholders decide to sell the shares they initially bought for $1.10, they would now make a profit of $1 per share. Six months later, the company distributes a dividend of $1 per share. Investors who still own their shares at this point receive this $1 profit as part of their returns. Let's try to understand shares further. After shares have been issued, they can be bought and sold on the stock market. Investors can trade these shares with each other through the stock exchange. When investors like a particular share, its price usually goes up. Conversely, if investors lose confidence, the price of the share tends to fall. Investor sentiment plays a significant role in influencing share prices in the stock market. When a company performs well, shareholders get to share in the returns. This is what makes investing in shares exciting for investors. If the company succeeds, the value of the shares may increase and shareholders can potentially benefit from that success. When shareholders buy a part of a company through shares, it's important to note that if the values of those shares decrease, there's no assurance that they will recover the initial amount they invested the value of shares can fluctuate, and there is a risk that investors may not get back the full amount they initially put into the investment. If a company faces financial failure and goes out of business, shareholders are likely to lose a significant portion or even the entirety of their initial investment. 
Investing in stocks carries the risk of losing capital, especially in the event of a company's bankruptcy or insolvency. If a company goes under, shareholders may lose their investment, but they are not personally responsible for the company's debts. Shareholders' liability is typically limited to the amount they invested in the company's shares. They are not held accountable for the company's financial obligations beyond that. Here's a fun fact. The New York Stock Exchange, which is the biggest stock exchange globally, has an average daily trading value of $169 billion. This figure represents the total value of stocks being bought and sold on a typical day. So, in summary, shares represent ownership in a company, with shareholders having voting rights and potential dividend payouts. It outlines how companies issue shares through processes like initial public offerings and highlights the risks of investing, such as potential capital loss. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on this video right over here.